the October lull. It's October 13th. Um, I'm just going to say I do not believe in the October lull. It's a transition. It's a change. Uh, what's going on biologically with bucks and does and what you can do as a hunter to kind of offset it. Bucks, their appetites are being suppressed. That testosterone level is as high as it's ever going to be. They're getting charged up. They're as big as they're ever going to be. Their appetites really start to kind of tail off as they start to get a little more agitated with each other, fight with each other, things like that. How does that pertain to what are they going to do around feed, around monster meal, supplemental feed, or attracting anything like that? You're probably not going to have the best success on bucks by trying to attract them to a specific place. They're getting pretty random, and they're not keyed in on food. They're starting to key in on does, and the does are trying to avoid the bucks right now. Why? Because the does are trying to gain weight, getting ready for the rut, because they breed more efficiently when they're in a gaining condition, okay? Makes their heat stronger, everything else. So how do you kill a buck this time of year? You get a little bit closer to secluded food sources. Avoid huge areas of, of high deer activity. Um, look for new crops or maybe this is the time where we, you put out that one protein block that you know is close to a bedding area and that buck is going to start to hit it pretty regularly. So October lull, I don't believe in it. October update, we've got two weeks before it gets really fun, you know, right around that, that Halloween time, um, my favorite time of year. And right here in New York, I'm tagged out on my buck. So all I get to do is watch. I hope everybody's having a great season. Get out there, get after it. The October lull is a big lie.